Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, friends and fam? All right, y'all. I just did. Um, I just did it today, man. Um, so if you guys watched the last couple videos, I was talking about how I was working for a paving company, and uh, you're paying two hundred dollars a day. And then my very last video. I sorry, my throat is fucking dry right now. So my very last video, I said that we need to get together as a trucker company, uh, truckers in general, and stop taking less than what we're worth. So I just did that right now. I stopped taking less than uh, what I was worth. He said two hundred dollars a day. I said um, from here on out, I need two fifty a day because from here we're going down to Texas, and. He wants me to come to, you know, he offered me to come down with him and he wanted to put me up in my own hotel room or possibly get me a place, whatnot. But the thing is, we work from like seven o'clock in the morning till probably like eight at night on average or seven at night on average. So I was like, you know what, like $200 a day for all that, that ain't cutting it, man, because that's a long ass day. That's a long ass day. And when you figure, I'm, th I'm thinking about like the amount of food and water and drinks I'll have to spend throughout that day You know what I mean? That's that's a lot of money on that just in general That's probably at least like 20 bucks a day minimum, you know 10 if you really are scheming on things, but you know what I'm saying? It's like $200 a day to sit in a truck and for 12 hours 13 hours it ain't too hard, but that's a long ass day to be just sitting in a goddamn truck and helping out the paving company. You know what I mean? That's a long ass day for $200. So what I'm saying is that I just took the first step in helping everybody out get better wages because I stood up for us. I stood up for myself. I said, fuck no, I need $250 a day. You know what I'm saying? If everybody was doing this in the industry, every single trucker was doing this in the industry, we'd be all better off, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, we'll, we'd be all better off. We'd all have more money. We'd all be able to feed our children and families with way more shit. But we're, we're accepting way less than what we're worth, man. We're CDL drivers. We deserve to be respected and earn more money so it's about time we start doing this shit like i just did man so everybody step the fuck up and demand what you're worth man don't work for less than what you're worth man i'm trying to tell you man you have too much responsibility on the line you're worth a lot to these companies the cdl is worth a lot to these companies man if all these CDL drivers say, no, I'm not going to work for anything less than $250 a day. Guess what? We all got to get paid $250 a day. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a safe-ass driver and you have a clean driving record, don't take less than $250 a day for a long-ass day. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like that That's what it is, man. We all need to come together and $250 a day, nothing less, man. I'm trying to tell y'all we need to step up and do this because... The $200 a day for a bullshit 12 hour day, fuck no. When you do the math, that is less than $20 an hour. And that's just not acceptable, bro. We didn't get our CDLs to be working for less than $20 an hour. You know what I'm saying? It's still not bad money, but we're above that now. We're above that, we're above that. So we gotta keep plugging away and keep telling these motherfuckers to pay us money, man, once you know how to do the CDL shit. You know what I'm saying? Because now this guy, I'm up here in Minneapolis, right? Now this guy, he's leaving to go to Texas on Friday, and he's got like three trucks. Um, so he's gotta bring all three of those down to Texas with him, right? Right now, he might even have four trucks. Let me see. No, I think he got three. And right now he got two CDL drivers working for him, man. So no, go figure they're looking for another CDL driver because they probably can't find a CDL driver that wants to drive for $200 a day, man. I'm, like, I'm telling you, man, CDL drivers were coming together, man. Especially up here, you get paid a little bit more, so CDL drivers aren't as desperate as say down south. But... So now he's got to find somebody else to drive his rigs down to Texas because legally he can't allow somebody 
to drive the trucks without a CDL. See, I don't know what the, the fine is, what the ticket is for that on that side of things, but it's probably a hefty fine if you let somebody drive a non-CDL truck that's not a CDL driver in your company. I don't know what it is, but there's gotta be a reason why we're worth so much. If, if you know the reason, comment down below. But anyways, man, that's what it is. And now he's gotta find another CDL driver. He's gotta, gotta fly somebody up from Texas to drive it back there. Which if he's been in business like he said he's been in for so long, then it shouldn't be a problem for him to find somebody to do that for him. But um, I was talking to some of the other guys that have been working for him for six months here. They've been working for him since they left Texas and came up here. Um, they both were getting $200 a day. They were just rakers, you know what I'm saying? Just um, the helpers. See, that's another thing, man. He was paying the rakers and the CDL drivers the same rate. I was like, the city, CDL drivers definitely deserve $50 more than the rakers. Even though we're really doing less work because we're only driving, we have the qualification, we have the CDL, we had to go to school, we had to, we had to suck it up and keep a uh, clean driving record. We have to keep our piss clean. All these things, man. Um, but anyway, so they're getting paid $200 a day. I was getting paid $200 a day. And them two were like warning me about this guy, man. They were saying like, he likes to sweet talk you. And you know what I mean? They were kind of warning me about him. And they were just looking out, you know what I'm saying? They're like, you know, we're just looking out. I was like, yeah, I feel that. Um, then he's, the guy was kind of like a slave driver too, you know what I'm saying? Like yelling at the guys at like fucking 10 o'clock at night to keep working, dude, you know what I mean? Which I don't mind. I don't mind working these long hours, but I'm going to work these long hours and get paid hella good for it. I'm not going to be working these long hours just to not get paid hella good for it, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I'd rather be doing something else with the time, you know what I mean? Not that I <laughs> necessarily have too much more that I want to do that's more important but the fact is I'm not going to be just sitting here and be thinking oh I should be getting paid more you know what I mean because that's the thoughts will that will creep up into my head when I'm just sitting there getting paid $200 a day you know what I mean doing simple mathematics so long story short I said $250 a day he said, no, like, you want me to pay you $250 a day plus plus get your own hotel room? Because usually he puts guys in a shared hotel room. I'm like, dude, if I am doing a six-month work thing, I'm not sharing no more room. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I've am i done that before, and I didn't like that shit. Sharing rooms with people ain't no fun. So I was like, yeah, I need my own room. You know what I mean? So it's up to him, man. If he wants to do it, he'll do it. If not, if not, you know, he's, we ended it like he's got to find somebody else to drive for him. Um, so I, you know what I mean? He's like, you want to come to Texas with us? And I told this guy like 10 times, I was like, I need $250 a day. Like straight up, I told him like 10 times, like 250, 250, 250. And then like, he was kind of like smiling about it. So I thought he was going to bite on it. And then he's like, you know, that's a lot of money. I was like, all right, well, you know, you're kind of asking for... Like, I'm just asking to be paid what I'm worth, you know what I mean? Because from Minneapolis to Texas, I looked it up to where we're going. It's about a 1,000 miles, and most companies right now, they're paying CDL drivers 50 cents a mile. So if you do the math, that's 500 bucks. That's 250 a day, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're worth, 250 a day, if you're a company driver. But anyway, so we talked about it. He said 200 I said 250 Then he said, are you sure? And then I was like, yeah. Like, um, And he was trying to get me. He was like trying to sell me on 200 I was like, nah, 250 You know what I mean? I'm worth it. And now he's got to go find himself another driver to drive these trucks, the truck back to Texas. So hope him the best, man. I hope he finds somebody that's not going to fuck up his shit. Um, but yeah, man. That, that's what it is. We just got to stand up for our worth. Keep plugging away. Um, and if you guys are a CDL driver looking for work, check out some paving companies, man. They pay pretty good. And some of them pay your rent. 
with that like comment share and subscribe peace